Hi, so I'm here with Mark from The Edible Foster. Um, Mark, just tell us a bit what you're up to today. Well, today we've got a group of executives from Timberland, and journalists and bloggers, and they uh, offered their time to come along and help us with the uh, newly re-landscaped Landall Road garden. Um, and we thought, what better opportunity and job to give them than the shoveling of a ton of horse manure into our beds. <laughs> Cool. And um, they've done really, really well, and it is actually a really important job. But yes, it was, it was, it did amuse us greatly that we were getting the execs to shovel shit. <laughs> the the site that we're creating here is um, it's an edible garden, but it's also a pocket park. But above all, it's an edible bus stop. So it's it's one of many things. But essentially, what we're trying to do, and what we have been doing for the past two years, is engaging with the community to come along take responsibility for what was just a, a series of neglected public flower pits. That has now been awarded funding through Lambeth's NEP programme, Neighbourhood Enhancement Programme, <laughs> and also the Mayor of London's Pocket Park Scheme. And through that funding we have um, had a held a public consultation, come up with the design, and this has now been built past six weeks it's nearly there nearly there yeah, and, and uh, so the idea is that we're going to replant the plants that we dug up and save from the old garden we'll plant some new ones but above all we'd like the community to come in and donate their own plants as well um, you've got the great you've got your great opening in may don't you yeah, we are it's very open i mean at the moment obviously because it's a building site there's hair expensive that will come down and we are um, very much we're open 24/7, uh, and we rely on, you know, we rely on the community to do the right thing by the garden. We ask for people to step up to the plate and do the, you know, and not damage or not vandalise. And we haven't had any vandalism actually. Um, sometimes a little bit of greedy harvesting happens, <laughs> but on the whole, I think it's fair enough. Um, the idea is that. It inspires people to grow veg, creates conversations with the people that come along and volunteer at the garden, breaks down barriers in the process. I know more of my neighbours now than I ever did. Um, me personally, I'm not a gardener first and foremost. I regard myself as a community activist that uses gardening as a tool to get people talking to each other. Um, and that's what personally floats my boat, more than actually the gardening. I really yeah. like doing the gardening with people though, but my own garden is getting very neglected. It's <laughs> at the good of the Same bus here. <laughs> I'm sort of busy oh. out here, but um, and it's normally storing about 30 plants that are going somewhere else, you know. Yeah. Um, cool. <laughs> so the idea, the thing that I'd really like everyone on Project Dirt to know about is that we're having a grand opening on May the 18th, and that's between one and four. There's going to be uh, live musical entertainment, um, a little bit of food and drink, but above all, what we'd really like is for people to come along, donate a plant or elbow grease, and come and you know actually finish planting the garden with mm. us, and uh, get to feel what it is to do something as an act of selfless service and for the community, and 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 you know really get involved with what it is to sort of be doing this as a group and how you know the conversations that come about it so please feel welcome to come along we'd love to see you here